New York Giants, Dallas Cowboys. Dallas favored by 17, the over-under on this one, 38 and a half. Thoughts on this one? I'm taking Dallas because when they win, they just crush, right? And they have Tommy DeVito at quarterback. So you're not really worried about the passing attack. Um, he's not going to be able to take advantage of a uh, a dinged up Cowboys secondary. And I don't know how he's going to survive uh, Micah Parsons and company there in the front seven. Like it's going to get ugly where I wouldn't be surprised if you see Saquon Barkley with another 36 touches, right? Just to try and generate some sort of offense. Darren Waller's obviously on IR. Um, it, it's just, it's not a good matchup. So the, the Giants defense has been playing a little bit better as of late, which is why I think I lean towards the under um, between that. And I think the Cowboys try and get their run game right this game a little bit. Um, Yes, Dak's going to do his deal. C.D. Lamb's going to get his. But I, I don't know that you're going to see him absolutely abandon the run game like they did kind of against Philly um, to keep in that game. They're going to have control of it. They're going to be able to kind of mix and match and play balanced offense. And, and it'll typically lead towards the under as long as the Cowboys don't get two defensive touchdowns again like they did early on in the season when they had, what, 36 points or whatever it was for defensive scoring is out absolutely outrageous. So, um, but hell, you might see that again. I mean, that offensive line for the Giants is not good. So, DeVito's got to watch out. He's got to keep his head on a swivel and get the ball out quick. Yeah, um, and this is one of those that I. It's hard to it's hard to call for a team to to cover seventeen and a half and then go for an under, especially when the under is as low as thirty eight points. Right, like that's. It's just kind of the thing, but that's that's what I'm going to do here. I don't think Dallas finds a way to get this thing done. I think they find a way to keep this thing under at this point. And I think it's also not going to surprise me if we look up at the end of this game and, and we're looking at a 30 to three game when it's all said yes. and done, right? Like, yeah. And that's where I kind of think that this is going to, going to come out to play to the point where I think Dallas jumps up early and we just see them try and salt the game away, uh, running the ball and, and getting that thing done there. So, yeah, I'm right there with you. I think Dallas Dallas finds a way to uh, to cover that thing. I think that we find the under on this one. One of the props I really like was Tony Pollard to go over two and a half receptions. He's found a way to get three in almost every single game this week, or this game this season, except for like two. Yep, and I'm taking – what did I take in this game? I'm taking Dak Prescott over 10 and a half rushing yards. He's been running the ball a little bit better. The Giants' pass rush has been getting home from time to time. They actually have like 16 sacks over the last four games. So, you know, Dak will be able to move. He's shown he's been willing to do that here the last few weeks. So I, I think he easily scampers for more than 10 or more than 11 rushing yards. <laughs> 